So here's part two of our multiple motor unit summation discussion. All right, so what I've got here is this TENS unit across my hand. It's set on a pulsation, so it's it, it fires uh, probably 60 times a, a minute. So one every second, you've got another pulse. Um, you can't see the twitch because it's not there's not enough intensity being sent through it. Now, as intensity increases, you're going to be able to see muscle movement. It's going to cause more of my hand muscles to fire, and it's going to become visible. All right, so now I've got muscles in my finger firing and in my thumb. You can see that pulsation of the thumb really nicely. Let's increase the intensity some more. Now you can see there's more muscle fibers involved. That movement, the rate is still the same there's just a lot more twitch going on there. It's recruiting more muscle fibers. More of those muscles in my palm and all the way down to my thumb are being used. And the more voltage I apply, actually this is the maximum on this thing. Lame. Um, the more voltage I apply, the more muscles, the more muscle fibers, I should say, will be fired. Multiple motor unit summation. Increasing the intensity recruits more muscle fibers. So if I could turn the voltage up even more, you would see even more movement in my hand as more of that muscle in my palm contracted. Let's go back down to a lower voltage. All right, here we are at a lower voltage. And you can see, you can still see the twitching of my thumb, the contraction and relaxation. But there, it's not a whole lot. As I turn the voltage up, more of that muscle is contracting. There are more muscle fibers contracting than there were at the lower voltage. Multiple motor unit summation. Increasing intensity increases the number of fibers that contract. So you produce more force.